Hi guys! Today I'm going to do a what's in my carry-on video, which I've never done in my life. Um, someone has just started strimming or something outside and it doesn't appear to be going away. So I'm going to have to continue with this video. I hope it doesn't bother you guys too, too much. Um, so I thought it's that time of year when some of you guys might be going away on a summer holiday or even if you're not for future reference maybe, um, this video will be useful. Although maybe we're all just nosy and we want to see what's in each other's carry-ons. So I have a little disclaimer because I usually carry this and a backpack as well if it's allowed. Um, to carry two bags on your carry-on and in the backpack I usually put my laptop, my camera, my chargers just because I prefer to keep that kind of stuff on me um, as opposed to like packing it in my suitcase and that but that's really all it is it's usually just full of my tech equipment and stuff that I'm bringing with me but um, this is where I keep all my actual stuff my carry-on bag that I've been using at the minute um, which was also my uni bag because it's a great size for both is this one it's the Provenza Schooler PS1 in this is the large and it's black with like gunmetal what's the word I've completely forgotten it's like black on black um, so yeah this I have a medium size of this bag which I often take away with me on, in summer actually because it's bright yellow some of you guys may remember it I love that bag I like this one for a carry-on particularly because it is big but it's not absolutely huge and it's still quite structured you can still find things in it really easily which is very useful for a carry-on because you're always in and out of your bag getting stuff out I'm sure some of you will be familiar with how um, the PS1 kind of opens up and looks but I'll show you guys I never really use these things I just let them hang out because they look like they're satchelly and tucked in anyway usually and then that's the clasp you open it up and then you've got various different sections so you've got this front section which is where I usually keep things I need the most then this zipped section and then the main part of the bag which does have a little thingamabob so you can clip it together and actually when I'm carrying the bag it looks a lot less fat than it does right now I'll try and show you guys but it kind of becomes slightly more satchely um, and then on the back as well you have another um, zipped compartment which I sometimes keep like my tickets and my passport in whilst I'm moving around Right, so in the very front pocket, I have my phone, which is an obvious one, it's upside down. Um, I really need to get a new case for this phone because it's kind of slowly coming apart. And I usually do it at Christmas, but I completely forgot. Um, but that's my phone, it's an iPhone 6 Plus, and I love the Plus, in case you were wondering. Then I've got my card holder, very important, obviously. You guys have seen this before. It's just my Saint card holder. It's beginning to look a little bit beaten up, but I kind of like it almost because I think they're supposed to be a little bit well-loved. Nothing crazy to report there. The reason I'm doing this, by the way, is because I actually haven't really unpacked this bag since I came back from Hong Kong. So next up, you have to have some sunglasses on you at all times. Carry on or no carry on. I am currently wearing these ones as you can see these do are so real so I'll pop them on for you guys they're like the navy with the rose gold and then like a kind of rose gold reflective bit from here up which I really like um, and the thing I love about this case if you're buying Dior sunglasses and they give you the option ask for this case because um, it obviously opens up like that so it, that's where you can, you can pop your sunglasses in but then you can also flip it down and flatten it completely so if you've got like a smaller handbag and you want to take your sunglasses out I think it's genius um, next up we have my headphones these are um, these do have a little boxy thing but I don't know where it's gone at the moment and I often do carry them around like this in my bag which is probably not good to be honest but these are the Sennheiser I can't remember what their name is but they're the like wireless ones and they're really cool um, they're absolutely massive as you can see and they're noise cancelling as well so that's perfect for travelling. They are pretty pricey, I got them for Christmas but um, if you are looking for some really excellent headphones that are noise cancelling, that are wireless, that sound amazing then 
I would highly recommend them. Next up we have this. This is my portable charger. It's quite bulky and heavy. It does carry about six charges for the 6 Plus and like 10 for the 6 I think. Um, I got this for £35 off Amazon, much cheaper than lots of the ones that I've seen and I will leave a link to it down below because um, I'm in love with mine. I actually ended up using it as like my main <laughs> charging device when I was in Thailand because I didn't have any plugs in my room and it lasted for like three nights fully charging, fully charging my phone. So I love that. I've got my keys, obvious but boring. So next up in here I have a proxy book because this is not the book I'm currently reading because I left it at home. But you guys will remember this from my recent book video I think. Now next up we have two vlog cameras because I'm kind of using two at the moment. If you didn't know, I'm doing daily vlogs in June, I'm sure you're very bored of hearing me say that. Um, but the vlog cameras that I have, I have the Canon G7X which is my trusty vlog camera, I've had this for a year and a half or something, I absolutely love it. They've just brought out a Mark II, I actually don't know how much different it is, I looked at the specs and stuff, it didn't seem massively different so I'm going to stick to this one for now. Um, I love it, I just think it's great. I also have the Sony RX100 Mark IV, um, this is a slightly better camera, a little bit pricier. Um, a little bit fiddlier as well, but I'm definitely getting into it more now that I've started using it this month um, But I would recommend both. I think the G7X is great to be honest and it's a lot cheaper They have almost the same specs and they both look really good. So Next up we have this little blotter artsy by Beauty Blender. Um, I don't actually use this that much um, But occasionally I will use it to blot. I could probably do with blotting right now because I am really shiny it does a pretty good job to be honest, like if you don't have any powder on you. Um, I don't actually have any makeup in this bag at the minute, which is kind of weird for me. Usually I'd have a bit of powder and maybe a mascara. I have my passport, an obvious one. Um, I actually need to get a new one because um, I've broken the chip in it from overuse or something. And you can't travel to America without a chip anymore and it's just much easier having a chip that works. So I'm going to have to lose all my stamps again after I went on my gap year, my passport ran out so I had to lose all my stamps from my gap year and now I'm going to have to lose all my stamps from the past couple of years so that's really annoying but um, yes I need a new passport. So this is the last like main thing in the bag, this is all the toiletries that I take on the plane. Now I don't know about you guys but sometimes when I watch these videos people have like a whole skincare routine that they take on the plane and I just can never be bothered with that. When I go on the plane, if I'm doing long haul, um, obviously not if I'm doing short haul, I don't have to take any skincare with me, but if I'm doing long haul, um, I really don't take my whole skincare routine. I take something, I take very basic amount of stuff. So, I have this little perfume in here because it was in my bag anyway. It's the YSL um, Black Opium. So I guess I could use that to freshen up. I also have a mini deodorant, very important. All this one's running out, so I'm going to have to pick up another one next time I go to the airport. I only ever pick up minis when I'm in the airport. Um, and I also have another mini. This is the Simple Kind of Skin Hydrating Light Moisturiser. I think moisturiser is probably one of the most important things you can take on the plane with you because your skin gets so dehydrated and dry. So um, I usually pick up a simple one or something similar, nothing crazy, just to keep my skin hydrated in the flight. It's also the only time I will ever use makeup wipes. Um, I've got these Garnier Skin Active Micellar Oil Infused Cleansing Wipes. So um, I will use these. I usually don't wear any makeup on the plane. So I will just use these to freshen up really um, and prepare my skin for moisturiser and whatever. I have a hand cream in here because I shoved this in the other day. Um, not, that you, not that I've used it that much but I feel like this would be good not just for your hands but for anywhere that gets dry in the flight um, that isn't your face. And I think I'm going to keep it in there for my next flight. I also have some sun cream. This is obviously really important. This is the Estee Lauder Crescent White UV Protector. I like this stuff um, just as like a basic uh, sunscreen for the face. Uh, SPF 50. Important for when you get off the plane and also for some extra hydration. This one's actually quite hydrating. And I also have some bite cream because I shoved this in there when I was coming back from Hong Kong because my bites were really itchy. So this is Antisem. In the front pocket actually, I forgot to mention, I've also got my pen because everyone always forgets you have to fill out landing cards and stuff if you're going on like, if you're going somewhere far away. 
Um, so always bring a pen when you're on the plane because you need to fill in things. Um, in this zipped pocket, I always keep my jewellery. It's an absolute mess in there, so I'm not going to go through it. It's the same as I like to carry my camera equipment with me, just so I know it's safe. Um, and I also have the cord in case my headphones run out of battery to plug it into my phone. But they do have generally quite good battery life, to be honest. In the back pocket, back here, can you see that? Um, I just have some lady products and I also have some painkillers and stuff like that I don't need to show you guys those I always carry some painkillers and bits and bobs like that just in case so I think that's everything you guys I'll show you the bag when it's empty um, but it's just a really lovely bag I love it um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one bye